Hey guys, what's up? It's Spurly, and I do have the uh, first look games going on right now. This is the first game, uh, actually the first game also that I played on the um, first strike pack. And uh, Discovery, in my opinion, is not is not a bad map. Uh, I really like Discovery, actually. I think out of all four of them, it might be my favorite map. But uh, as everybody knows already, uh, there is the Northern Lights in it, as you can see right there. Although I don't know how this is the Northern Lights. I know I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't think it's the Northern Lights actually. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, this is like a this is a fail. Anyway, um, I actually didn't have a bad game on this. Uh, this game in particular, um, well, like I said earlier, it was the first one. That guy fails at being Blade. But anyway, uh, this game I actually had, you know, a good a goodish score for not uh, ever playing this uh, map before. And I tr at first I was like, I'm gonna move around a lot, and get a different and get a different taste of all the maps. And then towards the middle of the game, I kind of, you know, went to where I got the most kills. And then at the end of the game, I went back to the whole uh, let's look around. Oh, come on, speed deck. And then by the end of the game, I went back to uh, let's look around and explore a little bit. But uh, this is, uh, like I said, for the, now the third time, the first game I had. And the second one I had was Stadium. No, it was Kowloon. Kowloon, Kowloon I think it is. And then my third game was Stadium, and my last game was Berlin Wall. And um, what was I going to say? Stadium and, and Kowloon were not really good games. Uh, Kowloon wasn't that bad. Stadium was a terrible game, so I'm going to lump those two together and put out a video on both of those at once. And then my final one will be the Berlin Wall, and you know, uh, this, I'm gonna keep them in the order that I play them in. Uh, Berlin Wall was not a bad game at all. Um, not a bad game. It's not a bad map. But anyway, I'll get there later. Um, one problem with uh, playing on Discovery that I hadn't noticed, but what I got a lot of kills from, is that there are a lot of places of advantage. I guess I would say there's. Well, I shouldn't say that. The places, the, there are places of advantage on this map that can be good for one side but terrible for another. Uh, that's exactly how I wanted to say it, actually. Okay, but like right about here, I found that it's this is a really good advantage uh, point of advantage for my side. But on the other side, coming away from the rock, uh, you can't exactly see where it's coming from. And another good point of advantage uh, is over by B, look overlooking B. See, like right there. I mean, <laughs> how did I get that? <laughs> anyway, I get the chopper uh, for this, and I really was not expecting to have uh, even a slightly good game because this is now the second day that the maps came out, and I just got them today, not too long ago. I mean, um, you know, but uh, I'd like to say, you know, shout out, kind of, but not really. But you know, a friend let me game share the maps, and so you know, that's very cool of him. And I uh, got the maps for free because I, you know, couldn't, didn't have enough money for them. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, but right here, here's another good point of advantage for uh, over for the for your place behind B, overlooking B. But there are many also not just one, there's one way there's not just one way streets that are good for one person and bad for another. There's also um, multiple vantage points on one point if that makes any sense. Like from that window, I just got that kill on the guy overlooking where I am, like right now up above there. Uh, there's many places where you can look out look out onto that and there may be many places for that there uh, for for that point to look out onto other places but the visibility is very poor I guess is the word uh, it's, it's not as good as the as, it's not as good as the places you can get looking into that or oh, wow uh, you'll find me on the Nuketown playlist all night long. <laughs> it's kind of, but uh, right now uh, Xbox has the 24/7 uh, Nuketown, and we have the maps. And I think it might be double XP. Uh, I think it's double XP. But the uh, Xbox now has the Nuketown, and we have the maps, as opposed to last time when we had the Nuketown and they had the maps. <laughs> I guess that's cool. But you know, that's a, a good. Also, where I am now is also a good place. But uh, for people to go running by. And, um, because they're usually sprinting, because that is a corner. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm going to put out a video combining all of the maps and taking a look at the, all of the first strike um, maps into one shorter video. 
where I just go over, I talk about more big picture things as opposed to when these, the first look videos, I'm going to be talking about the maps and specifics. And, uh, but I never really realized how much of a problem, uh, ghost, I guess not, I shouldn't use a problem, I shouldn't use the word problem, I should use, uh, how advantageous, uh, ghost is when you're the person that has it and you have a UAV up. Because, like, right over there, I mean, those, that ghost guy, that was, that was good. And this was annoying. Wait, no, I got him. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, different point. Uh, but it was kind of annoying, like, there, um, I never, I've always, I've used Ghost on most, most of my classes and most of the time I'm using Ghost in either Ghost in a Silence or Ninja or Ghost, uh, Dual Mags Ninja, but either way I'm usually using Ghost and Ninja and I never realized how much of a problem it was, not, I should, once again, not saying problem, how, how advantageous it is, uh, to not be on the map, uh, but here is a host migration session and I'm gonna speed this, that, this whole host migration, host migration session up so I don't know how long this is gonna last for so I may go overtime or extremely under time uh, host migration number two well that's where I'm at now uh, after I speed that part up we'll find out but I think overall the discovery is a you know a really good map and there's really not much for me to talk about left on discovery uh, other than you know just as a general tip for black ops you should you know always try to keep your your line of sight bigger um, and your line of sight in uh, smaller if that makes any sense that's the best description of what you should do in Call of Duty I guess I guess that's what I'm going for but uh, was there only two host migrations or is there three uh, I don't know when you're playing in game you know those host migrations feel a lot longer than when you're looking at it on a, on a pre-recorded screen but uh, I was kinda lucky oh no not there I'm getting everything confused all again but anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna, you know, stop the commentary here because I do have many uh, other games to go through tonight. Uh, I think there should be four, yeah, there should be five videos uploaded tonight. Uh, this is kind of funny here, where I'm experimenting with the bridge. <laughs> uh, but, you know, once again, you know, it's not gonna be where I am in the commentary. But anyway, so, in order to stop all the confusion, uh, I'm gonna cut out the commentary here and go on to the next one. So thanks for watching this one, and look for the next one. Uh, if, if you're watching it just when I first put these up, uh, the second one might not be up for a little while. Just That's only if you're uh, watching it, you know, like right when I put it up. But anyway, getting off topic. Thanks for watching.